Hey, this is Jim with my 2006 Yamaha Morphous scooter. Uh, I did a couple of videos. Uh, I just got it a few uh, few days ago, and uh, I did a video, a quick walk around video, and I did a video at night. Uh, so I'm going to do another one uh, because I, I registered and I uh, managed to take her out on a, a ride. It took about 50. Took it for about 50 miles yesterday. So I'm just going to go over some things that I mentioned that I actually read about. Now I experienced for those of you who may be looking to get one of these, and also answer the questions on why these didn't, these didn't really sell well at all. Um, the uh, what I found yesterday. I'm in New Jersey, and it was kind of brisk yesterday. And what is so true is obviously is this windscreen it's truly it's just an aesthetic it looks nice in a bike but it's useless as far as wind goes i just was bombarded with wind now i have a full full face head um helmet so um but in japan i guess overseas where these really sell well it's it's not an issue with, i guess with the wind but you know if you're if you like uh, in me in new jersey and you do some winter riding it's uh it's very uncomfortable so I did order an aftermarket um, light gray tinted 20, uh, 22 inch by windscreen, which were available for these when they uh, when these were first offered for sale, 06. So that'll help a lot. Um, another thing that I I noticed, uh, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot, I'm like 275. I'm a big guy, uh, and I fit fine on this. Uh, there was some issues with. Um, this is not a bike for as, as long as and big as a, of a scooter it is. It's not for tall people. Um, so if you have long legs, if you're like 6'1", 6'2", this is not going to be a comfortable ride for you at all. Uh, I'm comfortable with it. Um, but if you're a big guy, I'm broad chested, big, big shoulders. What I found is the mirrors aren't wide enough, really. I... I uh, I could see, I see basically my shoulders and arms, I could see some, you know, they do, uh, they do, they, they, they are concave, so you can see a wide, but as far as cars directly behind me, I have to move my head to look behind me, so I'm going to see if I can get uh, some longer mirrors, which should help a lot, so these are definitely not long enough for me, so, okay, I uh, started up. Now, New Jersey, it's a little chilly. Um, again, this is a southern bike, <laughs> so I don't know how, I don't think it likes the cold weather. But this is this got 4,000 miles, so it was like new. I bought it off a dealer, again, uh, and the original owner, I, I, I assume from the looks of underneath the engine compartment stuff, that this was sitting for at least a few years because it's, there's no water damage, there's no water, no, no, um, Evidence of, of rust or water there that it's salvage of everything is clear. I got a good title on it But it was a lot of cobwebs and spider eggs a lot of them under there So it's been sitting the uh, original owner didn't use it So which is good for me because I, I got a really good deal on this bike. So now uh, let's start it up Now I uh, in My first video I didn't really open her up uh, so I'm going to do a video on this now. As far as uh, the practical uses of the bike, it's got a really nice, long, deep glove box. It's locking. Uh, you got enough, more than enough room for cell phones, wallets, gloves, sunglasses, anything you want. Uh, again, this is the uh, fuel thing. I haven't fueled her up yet. She's, dealership gave me a full tank of gas. I appreciate that, Clyde. Uh, again, to open up the trunk, you just click here where it says... See that open and you'll feel this pop and you'll see the uh, the seat pop up and there's more than enough room in here I obviously I have a full a full mask helmet and I got my uh, head warmer there now under here you have the three bolts, this, this, and over here underneath. 
you take these up out this whole thing comes out one piece abs you got access to the engine and i changed the spark plug the original plug was in there it was very carbon fouled so i changed and i put an iridium 9 an ngk iridium iridium 9 plug in it to see how it's gonna how it runs and i know the iridiums run a little colder but they're uh, they're very um, durable, but it, it's it's a snap to change it. So, but I figured let me try and see. And and, it, and I, I again I took it for a ride about 50 miles yesterday, and she really ran nice. Uh, again, I had a 94 Helix, and this is so. And I I put so many thousands of miles on my Helix that um, even though it was 20 years ago, uh, this this is so similar. Uh, it's a little peppier. It's a few. It's a big, a little, a few cc's better, bigger, and it has a fuel injected engine, whereas the Helix had the downdraft carburetor. But it really is responsive. It, it, you know, it was very, very comfortable, except for the wind. Once I get my windscreen, I, I'm sure that's going to fix that. Uh, you got the other document tray, got my insurance and the owner's manual, whatever else you want to throw here, and under here. You got the access to the other side of the engine, uh, trans, uh, all that other stuff, and all the back and the insides here. And that's where I saw all the spider eggs and webs and so forth. Again, uh, it's it's a well-made scooter. I mentioned in my other video that there's, there's nothing on this scooter that anyone would say that Yamaha cut corners. Everything, this is a really, really well-made scooter. There's nothing. Again, the only thing I could say that's flimsy would be this. The oil, uh, the fuel tank thing. It's the only thing. Other than that, everything else is solid, metal, well-made. There's no garbage here. This is a, even this. I mean, he could have easily just made these into like a plastic or, you know, but no, they're metal, chrome. So they really hit a home run with, with the, the quality of this bike. So if you're looking for a good scooter, something unusual, and something that's going to last you a long time, then this is a good, good bike. And, and honestly, I remember compared to my Helix, this is much, much, uh, it's, the quality is, is night and day, I think. The, he, the Helix didn't have, the Helix had the, the plastic steering wheel and stuff. This is much prettier with the chrome naked steering wheel. This is beautiful. It really is in a digital dash. But, you know, the Helix sells to this day still very well it's got a high um resale value these these are these don't i got this for nothing under two thousand dollars and it's like new i put my nice blue pinstripe on it which i mentioned in my last video you got your i i try to use the uh, center stand as much as i can you got your side stand that's good for like if you're gonna run into coffee or something like that but you know i, I prefer using the sides the center stand so again, I close that, you open up, you got the rear trunk. I got my uh, my wheel lock and the tool kits in there. Again, the, the Helix had a much bigger trunk. Uh, it's just based on, you know, the design of this. This has a longer wheelbase. So um, the, that longer wheelbase took away the, um, the room in the trunk. Now, if they made the wheelbase a little shorter, it wouldn't be the Morphous scooter. And perhaps it would have sold better, but I, I think some of the reason people didn't like is it's so long. And they are as long as they look on the video here. <clears throat> so, but you got a nice trunk, and it looks just like a caddy. Really beautiful. Got my plates. And again, I took her out for about uh, a good 50 miles yesterday. I had a, uh, it was pretty responsive. All uh, right. I cruised easily at 50 miles an hour, no problem at all. You know, crazy squirrels, excuse me. But again, from the front, the, from the front, you don't know what's coming at you. It's a really sporty, it's a, I really love the style of this bike. And I'm going to have this for many years to come. Again, the difference between this and the Helix, you got larger wheels. Um, you have power disc brakes front and rear. 
again, these are really nice at night. They kind of peek up on the top. So while you drop, you're riding, you can see just a nice little glow on the top and your red Speedo. Uh, this here, I didn't show in my other video. This is your, your handbrake when you park. It's your parking brake. Locks the back tire. Uh, that's another thing. You have your uh, front and rear brake on the top. The, the Helix had the brake on the right side. It was a pedal brake. You had to push to start it. <coughs> uh, nice chrome. Like I said, this is it's well made. There's nothing flimsy. There's nothing flimsy on this at all. Here's your uh, access plate for the belt drive. I'm going to check that. I'll probably change it. I, I don't know. Um, the dealer, because it was a consignment bike, uh, I guess they went over just the safety of it, but nothing was changed off. Um, so, uh, but I, I did so much maintenance work to my Helix. This is really identical, except for the fuel injection. But it's essentially the same exact engine. A little bigger CC. <clears throat> but uh, they're really easy to work on. A lot of fun. You find uh, you're changing the oil more than you really need to. <laughs> so, it's not really loud. Again, it sounds just like my Helix. It's got a nice. Uh, nice speedo don't really glow in the daytime that was some uh, one of the uh the write-ups that it's kind of hard to read in the daylight in the sunlight it's sort of like not as bad as a cell phone but um i can i had no problem really reading i could tell um how fast i was going i could get see how much gas i have <clears throat> so in a few days i should be getting my uh my new windscreen and I ordered, because I'm going to be losing this, and it's kind of pretty, it looks nice. So I ordered a blue from Yamaha. It's actually coming from overseas. Uh, a blue Yamaha sticker. Uh, so I'm going to put that there. And it'll look nice. And again, I got the tinted gray. And it should come up about here. I believe the, it is a, if you just do a search on Ma, Yamaha Morphis, um replacement windscreens uh, I think it's jrock jrock.com is the uh, <clears throat> company that makes them and they have a, a, a lot of options they had many options as tall as 18 inches wide by 26 and a half high which I didn't want to go that that large so so I still haven't given given her a good cleanup she really needs to be detailed but it's just too cold so I'll either wait for a nice warm winter day or we'll just do everything in the spring and I'll enjoy her so so uh, my next uh, I do some research and see if I can get some uh, longer mirrors that come out a little bit more so I can just at least I could see people behind me I don't I didn't like that at all so Again, these are the little things I think maybe people wrote up because I, I don't, I didn't, when these came out in 06, I, ne I never saw them. I was out of the, I was into, I have my, I have a vintage Corvette, so I, I've been into Corvettes for about 15 years now. So I got away from the motorcycle. So I, I don't remember when these came out, but I did see them about five years ago online. I'm like, wow, that is really sharp. I got to get me one of those. So, but at the time, the prices were too high. So. But like I said, now, because these didn't sell well new, you can get them for like a, a song and a dance. And there's not too many of them for sale. There's always nationwide a handful of them for sale. So, it's a real pretty scooter. So, there's enough room for, for uh, someone on the back. And the owner's manual, if you're depending on your weight, 
There's uh, different tire pressures. I, I imagine with the larger bikes, it's different with, with this. Uh, it's just a few pounds difference for the rear tire. That's all in the, in the owner's manual. So, and that's another thing too with these is <clears throat> it says it too is do not let them idle for a long period of time. So we took care of that by just shutting it off, obviously. So has a really aggressive race inspired front. You know, when you see it coming at you. All right, so once I get the, uh, hopefully I'll locate some mirrors. I'm going to try to get the chrome. The chrome really sets it off nice. And uh, and the windscreen, once I get the windscreen, I'll post another video. All right. I had mentioned, uh, I had asked if any Yamaha Morphous owners could help me out with the rear lights. And I found out that, uh, but no, they do not light up. They only light, they only blink. The top section only blinks. That the bottom rack, the bottom vertical, a horizontal rather uh, LEDs are your uh, night lights. So I'm going to put some LEDs in the back, some bright, just a simple LED, perhaps here or something back here. I've seen just an LED light to give me a little more visibility because I don't think that's enough. They really should have, they should have made these light up along with these and then blink uh when you when you're using the directional so so you can see it's as it is as long as it looks on the video believe me so. okay i hope uh helping you uh prospective morphous owners out and everyone have a good day and happy holidays